Praise the Lord, and welcome back to Faith and Praise. We have a very special guest, that is Mr. Joe Lagarde of the Mighty Clouds of Joy. Welcome to Faith and Praise. Thank you so much. Good to be here. Amen. It's really nice seeing you in our city of Wilmington. Thank you. It's good to be here. You know, it's been quite some time. We used to come often, and I know, I know that you remember those days. We were just talking about them earlier. But it's good to be back here in Wilmington because uh, people here love good gospel music, and I'm just glad to be a part of uh, your uh, program. Amen. Uh, the Mighty Claws of Joy, they're well known throughout the state. And uh, can you tell, tell us about some of your travels? Yes, I can. We've been together uh, for 37 years this year. And uh, as you say, we, we don't only travel in America, we travel all over the world. We go to places like Spain, Switzerland, Germany, England, Japan, even Africa. And uh, we, we've been doing that for the past 25 years. And uh, it's just so great to be back in the States. Uh, we're just coming from the Lou Rawls Telethon and uh, the Stella Award. Uh, we're nominated again for the Grammy Award this year. And uh, God has just been so wonderful to the Mighty Clouds of Joy. We just, we're just glad that people have stuck with us for 37 years. There's so many great new groups on the scene today. And uh, uh, I'm just glad that gospel is still in the forefront and people are still coming out. Amen. When I hear the name uh, Quartet of Groups, I think about the Mighty Clouds of Joy because because you're the one that really stepped out to really uh, to make quartet singing to have a standard. Not only just uh, just singing and being good in singing God's praises, but to present your group in a, a, a more professional way. Yes, yes, we, we were one of the forerunners, pioneers of uh, the quartets. We came on. 37 years ago, and we tried to take gospel to another level. Um, you know, we, do, we don't just sing in churches, we sing colleges and civic centers, and festivals, and uh, wherever we sing, we, we, we let folks know that we love the Lord. We're not ashamed, we've been to the White House, we perform there, at Radio City Music Hall, Carnegie Hall, some of the best venues out there today, and we, we always let folks know that we're not ashamed of the gospel, and we're not ashamed of Jesus Christ. And I'm just sitting here uh, looking at that Florence Civic Center for Saturday, March the 8th. You're talking about the time. My brothers from down there, Smith, there, the William brothers, the Mighty Clouds of Joy, my buddy William Neely Johnson, the keynote, Tommy Ellis, another friend of mine, the great Dr. Kenzie, and McDonald's sisters, B.T. Green, and his very fine group, the singing disciples, and my buddies from Chicago, Pyramid Jubilees, at that Florence Civic Center. You're talking about a time. we going to have a time. Oh, yes, we are. And you're with uh, Mighty Clouds of Joy, and we're on that program also. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. I shouldn't have said that because I'm sitting here looking at me on the card over there. I got to face all these great groups, and uh, I'm telling you, anytime Mighty Clouds get with Dr. McKenzie, William Brothers, uh, uh, Supreme Angels, Slim, and that great group, uh, Pickham Jubilee, Singing Disciples, Willie Neal, all those very fine groups, Tommy Ellison, it, it's, it's, it's just worth anybody's uh, of money to be there. It's going to be singing, and somebody's going to get a blessing from March the 8th. I just heard the premiere. Yeah. We just uh, saw the Stella Board on last night, and we had really enjoyed that song, A Living Testimony. Yes, yes. I, I watched myself last night. I was on the Stella Board along with Doug Williams, and uh, Doug and I recorded that song together, and we won a Grammy. I ate Stella, uh, I'm sorry, that Grammy's on my mind. You know, we won three, and I'm looking for my fourth one coming up pretty soon. But, Doug and I won the Stella Award for that song, I'm a Living Testimony. And that song's in my latest album, Live in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, we're going to be doing that song. Doug and I are going to sing together March the 8th, and we're going to sing the testimony again. But people call me from all over the world and uh, America last night and said, Well, I saw you on the Stella. And they said, You were sharp, too. I said, Well, I tried to look pretty good. I had on a leather. And uh, uh, the Spirit of the Lord was there. We had a wonderful time at the Stella Award in Nashville, Tennessee. Amen. You know, when, uh, also when I think about the Mighty Clouds of Joy, I also think about uh, Mr. Johnny. Johnny Moore. Johnny Moore. Yeah, Johnny Moore is uh, one of the fellows who helped me 
start the Manny Plaza Jewelry. God bless him. God called him home about 10 years ago. Uh, we started singing together. I was 17. He was 14. And I know you remember when uh, uh, well, Herbert, Mr. Mr. Hubert, uh, used to bring us here. Hubert Harris. Hubert Harris used to bring us here over at the, um, uh, was it? it was, it was a, a union hall or something. Isle Hall. Isle Hall. And uh, yeah, the, the, the very fine lady was telling me in the day about you going so far back and knowing that we came, I think you worked uh, with at the barbershop there, that's right? That's right. And uh, God has blessed you to come a long ways. And uh, you know, I know that you must trust in the Lord because God has brought you a long ways. If you stick with God, he'll open doors for you. And I know you can be a witness to that. And it's uh, Johnny, I think about him because we went through so much together. And when he, uh, he had a heart attack, we just toured Japan. And one thing he told me over in Japan before we got back to America and he passed, he said, Joe, always stay with the Lord. Because he knew I had offers the same Motown records tried to get me years ago. They were replacing members of the Temptations and they contacted Joe Lagan and a lot of the big groups before I got started with the Clouds. Archie Brown, Lee of the Mississippi Blind Boys. Uh, Sam Cooper, who was living when I first started, wanted me to lead the Soul Stirs. But uh, God had promised me a group. And uh, if you wait on God, trust and obey, He'll direct your path. And I, I like to say that to the folks who are listening and watching right now. Stay with the Lord and He'll make a way for you. Amen. Well, Mr. Lagan, it's been a pleasure having you here on Faith and Praise. Thank you. And it's really an honor having you here in Wilmington. Thank you so very much, and God bless you. I enjoy talking with you. Amen. May God bless.